Malawi is a landlocked country in Southern Africa. Malawi's Human Development Index value for 2018 was 0.477, positioning it at 171 out of 189 countries and territories. Its economy is driven by agriculture, which accounts for a third of Malawi's gross domestic product, providing nearly 80% of national employment. Although Malawi is endowed with diverse agroclimatic zones and plentiful freshwater, land is becoming severely degraded due to increasing population pressure and unsustainable farming practices. Climate change is impacting small-scale farmers in Malawi. Floods and droughts are exposing millions of lives to hunger and poverty. The 2018 cyclone Idai made it worse as it left a trail of destruction due to heavy winds and floods. Jackson Mukombezi is a district agriculture development officer for Tolo, talks to us about climate change and challenges facing rural, small-scale farmers in his district. Uh, climate change is real. We are experiencing problems of uh, rainfall. We are experiencing problems of uh, degradation of land. Um, as for uh, rainfall, our rainfall has been uh, erratic. In some years, the rainfall has been too high. In some years, the rainfall has been uh, uh, too low for farmers who produce uh, crops and even um, uh, feed their livestock. You know, irrigation is one of the practices in this district, Cholo. But uh, irrigation in other areas has been affected because where water was available is no longer found. We find that within a short period, uh, the rivers have dried up. Uh, the, the, the wells have dried up and farmers cannot uh, cultivate anymore. Development Aid from People to People, DAPP Malawi, cooperates with the Ministry of Agriculture, Irrigation and Water Development in the development, expansion and implementation of a Farmers Clubs program. The cooperation supports small-scale farmers in living on the land and from the land by establishing food security from their own production and getting organized together around life and production. The Farmers Club program supports, trains and organizes small-scale farmers to adopt improved farming techniques key in imparting sustainable farming practices. Lisbeth Thompson, the country director for DAPP Malawi, adds on this. The challenges which they are facing, I would say, is of course very much to do with the poverty. Uh, of course, poverty is a very big thing, uh, but the, the, the poverty which is there both in terms of providing the right inputs, but also poverty in terms of having the capacity, the knowledge, the know-how to get most out of the soil. We have built the capacity by training and organizing the farmers into clubs. Um, this is about organizing farmers so that they learn from one another and they share experiences has been the key to actually improve both income and uh, production. But um, no doubt about it, the organizing of farmers into clubs, making sure that they learn how to grow um, their produce using less fertilizer, using more manure, making sure that their um, way of doing the, the production is uh, yeah, as much as possible, which we can make it environmental friendly as uh, at the same time productive, has been one of the things which we have been doing together with our farmers in Malawi. Mundau, Diwanga, Narimamu, Tomato, Komasu, Masamba, Amene Alimo, Maso mukona mwina pali chimanga chimanga chivenechi tima azala ngakale olumuli tomato kapena olo masamba zimata kutheka chinangwa chi mene mukoni namo chita kutheka kuti chimanga chose chita bwino kuchita bwino chinangwa chifo chinangwa chimafa chifo chena kuti Olo kutaka kuti kuri chilala, chinangwa chitikazala, chima kakula abebe asipa, mene chima anga chita kufa, nda kuti pindu laje tingu mwetu nga pezi, dila chinangwa ichi. Manyewa hawa ndi oji ama tandiza, kubweze sa chonde ntaka, kusia na ndi kukwiri sa nchito, feteleza, mene ama onanga chonde. Tika kukwiri sa mwina kwa za kazi zwiri kapena statu, nda kuti feteleza, tima za tila ocheba kwa mbili, fukwa tima kakuti chonde jatu, chabwe rama. 
Farmers Club's program brings the farmers together to work as a collective unit. The farmers work as a team in clubs of 50. The Farmers Club function as a wider forum of learning and sharing of farming experiences. Brian Batala, the project leader of Young Farmers Club in Chiradzulu district, tells us the importance of working as an organized structure and how it strengthens small-scale farming. We are working with 285 young farmers aged between 70 to 35 years. Uh, these young farmers are trained in crime and smart agriculture. So the coming in of Dub Farmers Club, we want to train those youths to do, to do other resilient programs which they bring, uh, they bring about the food security in, the, in their homes. Uh, we are in conservation farming. We are also training the youth in livestock production. We are also training the youth in beekeeping. We are also training the youth in uh, victim production. Uh, we want to, the, to train the youth to be uh, financially stable. Uh, what we are training the youth is agribusiness, not agriculture, because we want this youth which we are working with to take farming as a business. So at least when they, we, we, we have trained them, they should venture into farming so that at least they will be getting money and also they will be getting food for whatever we have trained them. DAPP Malawi is reaching close to 6,000 small-scale farmers with techniques aligned to the UN Food and Agriculture Organization's Climate Smart Agriculture. The idea of the project is to create conditions for the young farmers so they can see life as a farmer as a good option for their future. What kind of farming techniques are the farmers learning in their farming life? Tione Banda tells us about how farmers are being equipped with what kind of farming techniques. Um, first, the, uh, us as trainers, we are also equipped uh, with knowledge from Mekongi Vocation so From there, as a trainer, we transfer the knowledge to the farmers. These farmers, they are grouped into clubs, of which they have their own demonstration garden, whereby all the, far the 25 uh, farmers, they come together, they learn new modern skills in relation to uh, climate change. Then the after, uh, we demonstrate practically on the ground, then the other, they are also they also taken from their respect the food to Mikolongo Vocational School, where there is a company of agriculture, whereby they are also able to see practically on how the students or the teachers from Mikolongo Vocational School they are implementing agriculture activities. Uh, among among us, the uh, schools which have imparted to the farmers pertaining to climate change, one of them is the, uh, conservation agriculture, whereby uh, we do farming without using too much uh, tilling the, uh, the soil and the, uh, we, we just cover the soil with the uh, crop residues. And the other uh, skill which we have trained them on uh, is that it's on how to make manure because we all know that fertilizer is a chemical which is hard, hazardous to, to our na nature as well as the soil. That's why we are also uh, promoting the concept of manure making because it, it, it helps to restore the, the nutrients in the soil. In addition to boosting food security, Farmers Clubs engages community leaders to spearhead environment protection at local level. Village Ed Mataka is actively involved with reforestation. She uses her influence positively as she organizes her community members in tree planting campaigns. The barren mountain in her community used to be thriving with different animals and birds, but now has fallen victim to rampant deforestation. A growing local population depend on it for wood fuel and other wood supplies. In response, firewood saving stoves are promoted as part of a low-cost technology that reduces the amount of wood burnt to cook food for a household. Let us hear from her. <laughs> Stick <laughs> Nina most I be set my good enough in Chito Bino, but the Joe Machinga Chitika Kumeneku, put the if you and got it beside. I got Pesa so now me ten guyao, I got Fesa, Amati Gawida, Amati in Bigisan so 
tukumaka zala mpili mja. Siti mazala soto kati matengana nti iwo umwe wana school. Nde azipusena ukatani kukazala. Ama tilipikisa kuti mitengo ndiyo funikila kudela kwa tukunoko. Farmers Club Macadamia Nuts Project was recently started to enhance Macadamia Nuts value chain in Malawi. The Macadamia trees create a green belt and help improve the income of the farmers. Kuzira ku maklabu wa metina kazi kisi. Tapunzi tupunzi ya zambiri. Yati. Wani kuti tugawa na nzeru kirimbikiso kumansu tukumanga umozi. Tukupunzi rana metunga tukalira. Kumansu tukuni kirana kudoku tukupita kuti. Choringa jime tukupita kuti. Ndikiti. Ambiri, mzwa uti mitengo hii, nchitu ya jio pete ika ndi zaka zitatu. Kusogoloku, nchitu ya jio zaka yuchepa. Chifuwa mene mitengo hii kukula, nchitu ya zaka yu kukula nchepa. Eti, kutu wa kutino, tima ziwa kutino, nga kale mtu hakali, nga di mendi didine. I am now over 63. Eti, yes. Ndi uli mpavu zi kuchepa. Nzeru zi kuchepa. Kwa nchitu wa kamene kanga za kari u, zaka nsu nchitu ya uchepa. Tega mba kukolola, tisaka ndi mavuto pofuna kugulisa. Ndiye prosesi mene yondi kubi ya udino ikubiti ilabe. Ya, kwa hivyo jaji kutikudikila zimenezo ndi kuno. Ndito, kuma makademi ya ndi ndi ya mene ya mba malu wao. Kwa hivyo ndi kutakla mwayu mene utino aendese zimene za makupariti visu. Kuno, tika maza fika poti, tikuwe mba kukolola. Tisaza kare so stranded with a good TV and also good get told it the project is working with 3,000 farmers in rural Tulo and in Zimba it trains farmers to establish and sustain a 0.4 hectare of macadamia trees the project works with two private companies who later purchase the macadamia nuts produce for commercial export we hear some remarks from to your district agricultural manager on how DAPP Malawi is working. Yeah, I'm quite sure that um, once Magdemia uh, um, is well established and the farmers are well trained, um, I know the training is going on, it's something continuous, and the market is, is still available, the farmers will continue. Uh, being engaged in the agribusiness. So, Macadamia, uh, once somebody has planted, the, pl the tree can stay for a long time, as long as the person cares for the tree. So, since um, this tree, the Macadamia tree, has got uh, a market at the other end, a market that is well known, the farmers will be able to sell. They already have the market. So this is going to help the farmers uh, uh, work hard and even increase the number of trees on their own, even if DAPP goes. that are organized. If somebody stands on his own, he cannot survive because the knowledge that he has is the only one that he's going to use. But when people are organized in a club, they are kind of, there's a kind of synergy building. 